it's Kay. Welcome to the Leveling Guide for Kay Speak to Seminar. The Leveling Guide series is targeted towards newer players. In this video, I will show a full Act 1 run. I will explain what gems to link and who to buy them from. You will also see the passive tree progression. Don't worry, I sped up the boring bits by 4 times, but I left the two main bosses and the leveling trial at normal speed. Okay, let's get into it. In the first zone, pick up the fireball and arcane surge. Run past all the monsters and just go straight to the boss and kill him. Then pick up all the loot and enter Lion Eyes Watch. In Lion Eyes Watch, talk to Tuckle and get Freezing Pulse. Also check his item shop to see if he is selling the three linked armor. You are looking for three blue links. Next talk to Nessa and buy a red zombie gem. Replace fireball with freezing pulse and put red zombie somewhere in your gear. You can also check her item shop for a three link wand. Then sell all the loot you picked up. Sell everything unidentified. This will give you transmute shards and orbs. You will need this to buy more skill and support gems later. After leaving the town, you want to find the waypoints in the coast and then enter the mud flats. Here in the mud flats, find the three quest items marked with a yellow exclamation mark. Then look for the strange green floor and enter the submerged passage. Try not to stand still for too long. Always shoot and move. You can raise zombie from the dead monster. They are a bit weak now, but can give you a bit of extra damage as well as distract monsters. Now you want to take away points back to the coast. And enter the tidal island. Find and kill the boss, pick up the quest item shown in green and return to Lion Eyes Watch. You can use a portal scroll or you can use this trick. Exit to character selection and log back in. Your character will be in the middle of the town. Take some Raging Spirit and Frost Blink from Tarkley. Next take the Quicksilver Flask and some Phantasms from Nessa and then buy Holy Flame Totem. Link Holy Flame Totem with Phantasms. Replace Freezing Pulse with Summon Raging Spirit. Take the waypoint to Submerged Passage. From Submerged Passage, run through the zones until you reach the lower prison.
Now take the waypoint to the submerged passage. You need to find the entrance to the flooded depths. It will be before the bridge. Find and kill the deep dweller and return to Lion Eyes Watch. Take the skill book from Tagle. Next, take Infernal Legion from Nessa and buy minion damage. Buy two if you can. Now the links are Summon Raging Spirits plus Infernal Legion plus minion damage. Raise Zombie plus minion damage if you could buy a second one. And Holy Flame Totem plus Summon Phantasm. Take the waypoint to the lower prison. The first thing to do here is find the Labyrinth Trial. The spikes have a pattern so take your time to watch it before you move. Now, you want to find the entrance to the upper prison and then the warden's quarters. There are no monsters to raise zombies in the next zone, so make sure you have 3 zombies before you enter. Brutus is the first proper boss fight but isn't too difficult. Cast Holy Flame Totem knew him. Now cast some raging spirits once, then move. Cast another one and move. Repeat this while running around the boss in a big circle. Don't get too close to the boss as he does big melee damage. creation brute you'd not have fallen so easily pick up as many items as you can then exit the zone and take the waypoint back to lion eyes watch from Tarkley, take summon skeletons and replace some raging spirit buy the second minion damage gem if you couldn't buy it earlier Skeletons are a lot easier to use compared to the Raging Spirit. 
The spell will cast two at once whenever you point your mouse. Take the waypoint back to the prisoner's gate. Find the ship graveyard. First look for the waypoint, then look for the ship graveyard cave. At the end of the cave, you will find the slave girl. Click on her and pick up the old flame, then exit to the ship graveyard. Find the caverns of Vars. Take the waypoint back to the ship graveyard. Find and kill fair graves who should be close to the waypoint. And return to Lion Eyes Watch. We're almost at the end of Act 1. Talk to Nessa and take Flesh of Rain, then talk to Bestu and take the skill book. The final boss has a lot of life and hits very hard with cold damage, so we need to increase our cold resistance. The easiest way to do this is sell 2 iron rings and 2 blue gems to the NPC. They will give you 2 sapphire rings in return. You can also buy the iron rings from Nessa if you don't already have any. With this 52% called res, I will only take half the damage from the boss. Take the waypoints back to Marvel's caverns. Just need to find the boss room. Final check before going in. For this boss, cast Holy Flame Totem and Summon Skeleton straight away. Then keep moving around the boss because she will shoot some ice balls. After you have done some damage, she will teleport somewhere. Find her and cast Holy Flame Totem and Summon Skeletons. Watch out for the extra monsters. They move slowly but hit very hard. If you need to heal, cast Holy Flame Totem and Sand Yet. The boss will go to the second phase. The strategy is the same as before, but you need to watch out for the water fountains now.
fishwife. It was love that did this to you. And that's pretty much it. Pick up what you can and exit to the southern forest. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the leveling guide for Act 1. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!